Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome once again. So the last time we spoke about uh, what the double portion of the anointing means. This time I'll, I want us to go a little deeper into what the anointing is. The anointing is a physical indication that someone has been called and commissioned for God's work. When it's time for God to send you out there, he'll commission you for his work. There is the calling, the waiting, and the sending. Okay, maybe some, some, someday we'll go deeper into the calling, the waiting, and the sending. But when it's time for God to send you, he will commission you. There's that physical indication of it. He will commission you to go out there, you know. And then definitely when you go out there, because you have been equipped, what will happen is that you will come back with the results. Physical indication that you have been commissioned for God's work. So what do I mean by that? Let's look at First Samuel chapter... 16 verse 13 so Samuel took the horn of oil and anointed him in the presence of his brothers and from that day on the spirit of the Lord came powerfully upon David Samuel then went to Ramah so you see what happened was that that day it wasn't as if the spirit of God wasn't with David he was always the spirit of God was always with David but that day was a day set apart for that thing to happen when that thing happened when that physical indication happened that this is the one when he was anointed with the oil what happened was that this the spirit of the lord came powerfully upon david and we cannot attest to the beautiful and mighty and powerful things that god used david to do for his people let me give you another another scripture acts chapter 2 verse 1 to 4 when the day of pentecost came they were all together in one place suddenly a sound like the blowing of a violent wind came from heaven and filled the whole house where they were sitting they saw that seemed to be to be tongue of fire that separated and came and rest on each of them all of them were filled with the holy spirit and began to speak in other tongues as the spirit enabled them so you see there was a physical thing that happened okay so when that physical thing happened there was a manifestation of the spirit of god coming upon them mightily and they began to speak in other tongues the spirit of god mightily came upon them when that physical indication came okay so that is what the anointing is when it is time for you to go out there to do God's work, that physical indication will come. Let's look at Jesus Christ himself, okay? In the book of Acts chapter 10, verse 37 and 38, it says that, you know what has happened throughout the province of Judea, beginning in Galilee, in Galilee. After the baptism that John preached, now 38, it says, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and power and how he went around doing good and healing all who were under the power of the devil because God was with him so once again God was always with him but when that indication came it opened up for people to know and understand what he has been called for and he went out there doing it mightily so the anointing remember it's the physical indication that one has been called chosen and commissioned for a particular job it could be a public anointing it could be a private one whichever ways when you go out there the spirit of god will equip you will empower you to do his will so what's going to happen is that people will bear witness to the anointing of god upon your life so once again remember the anointing is not something you share with people because when those people are not ready when it's not time for them to go out there to be commissioned by the work of god god will not actually put them in that position where he will say okay go out there now because there's that waiting period we all need to wait upon god for that particular and chosen time so it's not something that i can give you it's only the spirit of god that gives because when it is time he will actually commission that moment so we wait on god just like the disciples did they waited on god and the spirit of god came mightily upon them and they were commissioned for great and mighty things so if you are looking to see if god will use you mightily or you want god to use you mightily you are so eager you are so enthused to want to do the the will of god the work of god and all that wait on god for that moment for him to actually commission you for great and mighty works god bless you in the name of jesus amen